COVID-19 pandemic is all pervasive and catastrophic experience globally that have not existed in living memory. The most apparent implications of it are closed schools that leads to online distance learning to protect our learners from being infected by the virus. Our parents and other stakeholders are in need to support as an obvious partner in obtaining quality education amidst the pandemic. Everyone engages virtually. As our Deputy Secretary Briones added, that education must continue under the health protocol set by the Department of Health and World Health Organization. A gratifying day to everyone. Welcome to the moving up ceremony of Carlos P. Garcia High School, Class 2020-2021 with the team strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. This day is quite remarkable as we did not visualize that this ceremony will be held virtually yet offers a great and familiar terrain in the history of education. Indeed, you are part of the history. We are here to become a spectators of breakthroughs of our dear computers. To begin the ceremony, let us all welcome the Filipino Department headed by Ms. Maria Rey The English Department, headed by Ms. Christine E. Olesteron. The Mathematics Department, headed by Mr. Edwin M. Yap. The Science Department, headed by Mrs. Marita C. The AP and ESP Department, headed by Mrs. Flordelisa A. Hascha. The TLE Professional Department, headed by Ms. Irene D. Kama. The PhE Department, headed by Dr. Amalia S. Panate. The MAPE Department, headed by Mr. Alan L. Concepcion. Dr. Edna G. Valencia, Public Schools District Supervisor. Mrs. Elvira C. Cabaluna, Assistant School Principal. Mrs. Elena C. Reyes, our School Principal. And Maria Magdalena M. Lim, Cesify. Let us all rise for the singing of the national anthem, followed by the prayer to be led by Mark Stephen D. Crosada of Grade 10 Diamond. Let's feel the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father God, we thank you a hundredfold for all the blessings, love, and strength that you've showered us. We owe you for all your wonderful works in this wonderful world. And as we gather here today to celebrate our successful journey throughout our junior high school life, we need your guidance and help for us to be able to perform this program excellently. Lord God, we are very sorry for our committed sins, mistakes, and for our shortcomings. We ask your forgiveness 
and may you cleanse our young hearts, minds, and souls. Lord, may you guide us in our daily lives and grant all our wishes. Make us more confident in everything we do. And most of all, please guide our beloved families, friends, teachers, and all stakeholders of Paris Peter Sia High School. Jesus, we believe in and trusting in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mrs. Elena C. Reyes, our school principal, will present to you the candidates of grade 10 completers. To our school's division superintendent, Dr. Maria Magdalena M. Lim, it is my honor to present to you the junior high school completers composed of 163 boys and 160 girls, a total of 323 completers. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the K-12 basic education curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education for school year 2020-2021. As the school's division superintendent of the Division of City Schools Manila, and as attested by your principal that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the curriculum of junior high school, as prescribed by the Department of Education. I hereby confirm you as completers of junior high school this school year 2020-2021. Congratulations. Here are the grade 10 completers. Mrs. Nelly M. Barbosa, advisor, will now present the completers of grade 10 amity. Hailey Luis Almovela, Isaiah Christian E. Arellano, J.V. V. Banyas, Juan Mig Benedict Bernal, Vincel P. Campoy Jr., John Derrick Y. Castelloni, Jet Jasper R. De Leon with honors. John Mark Anthony F. Desembrano. Mark Christopher D. Duran. Christian A. Gonzalez. Daniel P. Liagas. Roland Jaimeson D. Martinez. Christian R. Mateo Aika Claude Medina Kenz Gerson S. Olengal Edsel F. Oregas Ernesto L. Sandoval III Reynold A. Sarmiento Jr. Raven M. Saroka Kurt Anthony L. Sinata Allen L. Tangon Ma Aurora C. Agbayani Therese M. Agmata Jocelyn D. Bundalian Angelica May Aids Cañete with honors. Alisa May E. Conise. Regine C. Delfin. Ma Aliana Nicole R. Escalante. Francesca Anita Gabriel. Natalie Jade Huco. Jamaica May H. Mabula Jana Patricia M. Mendez Jovi G. Mendoza Tricia Elaine M. Pagsibigan Natalie May B. Placido 
Vianse Sandra P. Reyes Crisia Rain D. Sumaway Jessica R. Sun Alexandria Ishi A. Vergara Mrs. Roxanne V. Folicarpio, advisor, will now present the completers of grade 10 garnet. Henry John L. Abesamis. Gerald C. Ampong. Branson B. Carmok Jr. Benedict D. De Leon. John Lloyd S. De La Cruz Joshua L. Elises Joren O. Espiritu Joseph O. Espiritu Jr. Nathaniel M. Galange Romel B. Ilaw Charlie Dake P. Ilaya Aldrin S. La Cuarta Alan Siegfried R. Lusano L.J. N. Lumbang Neil Angelo T. Magdadaro Jasper Peleglorio John Matthew D. Reprado Aaron Dwin M. Requina Jerome R. Sacuesa Rylbert C. Senyal Soren Bernard B. Suyong Jonathan Jr. L. Vigo Kate Polaris V. Abines Marites C. Alde Mariedita E. Arbolario Tisha Ne Espaniel with honors Linel D. Bernardino Ana Marie A. Bonso Maricar T. Concepcion Ezekiel Love J. Crisostomo Naomi De La Cruz Jewel Jane J. Fernandez Rachel Ann F. Contamillas Marian Alexis G. Lucrida Lorelei R. Reyes Lizzie May C. Santiago Anne Lemuel L. Soriano Arian R. Sudaria Cassandra Kyle B. Tolentino Janelle A. Tuazon Mrs. Ceres N. Magalion, advisor, will now present the completers of Grade 10 Sapphire. Grade 10 Sapphire. Rampel D. Adaro. Jorul M. Kailan. Trey Jersey M. Cuarto. Roji A. Dimesa Simon Eric I. Duran Jeffrey D. Esperas Jan Christopher A. Flores J. Mark P. Galisanao Carl Sirin C. Gorion Noel S. La Cuarta, Jr. Daniel Mark M. Lusada 
Chris Rain G. Mendoza Joshua C. Monserrata Jan Carlo B. Mores Randolph R. Ocampo Lawrence Gabriel A. Pidlawan Jan Carlo S. Reyes Jerome D. Salon Kenji V. Saludaga Jasper L. Salvador Matthew E. Sanchez Melvin Jr. Y. Sanchez Judel D. Sarmiento Chiron Abiera Lian Asli S. Acabo Lovely Rose C. Agcopra Charmy Grace B. Aurin with Honors Angie Marie Bigno Rain Gillian M. Cabahog Kim Andrea N. Casanova Elizabeth Jane S. Crisostomo with Honors Alexandra P. Cruz Lady Alia D. De La Merced Maisel Miles L. Garcia Charlotte Margaret D. Joya Lirene L. Lacson Roji Jasmine Loria with Honors Julian May C. Martisano Sharina Ann I. Matig Charlene C. Orias Jenny May S. Santos with Honors Mrs. Amparo B. Banikid, Advisor, will now present the completers of Grade 10 J. Jesse T. Antonio Jr. Rafi Shanti T. Badel. Ashley Lloyd Baisa. Jaren R. Balesteros. Justin Clark O. Bautista. Eduardo L. Concepcion III. Carl Gerald M. Dangilan. Christian Daniel F. Davokol. Nathaniel M. Dictado. Eric Josh M. Fuliantes. Vittorio Marie C. Legaspi. Leonard V. Lumot. Angelo T. Moreno Rustum P. Oviles Saiji B. Quintana John Ray D. Saparo Lord Ace B. Umali Christian M. Villanueva B. Honors Justin May D. Abordo Charlotte G. Aquino Rona K. B. Arales Vivian Joy K. Aron Nadine V. Artillero Michelle Ann A. Flores Veronica M. Gala Janelle D. Garcia Rachel Joy T. Ivanes Emeline Abby A. Lamboloto 
Nicole Ezequiel V. Liedo Carmelita Ortea Maria Altea P. Rivera Lizzie Colleen and Romero Erica Raisa and Rotao Jemima Chester Sam Alexandra Ryan M. Tan Marian Joy B. Singular Rosary A. Tago Jason Rain P. Tebes Samantha Nadia S. Uy Mrs. Christy B. Bonion, Advisor, will now present the completers of Grade 10 Emerald. Bojo J. Ates Erickson B. Balenia Agastón Raf Brasco B. Bautista Mark Adrian D. Boraga El Sir Patrick A. Cabanilla James Andre E. De La Cruz Marco L. De Los Santos John Paul M. Espos Brian Kyle Q. Francisco Jisrael L. Martin John Cleric R. Martinez John Ernest S. Molina John Ray M. Mosqueda Rex D. Pajos Kimwell S. Penza Gabriel G. Sabio Carl Angelo B. Santos John Alexis M. Viado Gerson A. Yebra Hani D. Ardidon Larian O. Austria Jenny Rose S. Baenio Joey Blanche B. Contrillon Najalyn B. De Los Santos Armeline N. Garcia Andrea F. Jeva Rica Mi A. Hivero Francesca Marie T. Guanizo Rose Ann Flor A. Lerios Maria Isabel E. Malikse Lin Weng S. Manuel Dale Allison Monteroso Lydia B. Rose C. Ketua Shane Angie Romano Erien Faith B. Salano Lisel Ann E. Sobrevega Mary Vic S. Tagalog Sofia Micaela F. Viernes Mrs. Riza E. Pailanan, Advisor will now present the completers of Grade 10 Ruby. Grade 10 Ruby. John Jonathan C. Amigo. John Simon R. Abiliano with honors. Wendell P. Cotanda. Japet F. Daco. Lance Angelo B. De Jesus. Benedict John Paul P. Dionisio Justin Kevin I. Duran 
Elton Son C. Fecundo with honors. Andre Janel E. Fulgencio. Jan Philip Rome Hindo. Jan Paul Benedict T. Igueron with honors. Mark Julian Laxina. Hero A. Leonardo. Jason Paulo F. Magnayon. Gerald A. V. Nazareno with honors. Jan Kevin B. Olicia. Jan Dexter Padilla with honors. Kyle M. Kiambao. Justin Emil S. Reliama Miles R. Sula John Denzel S. Tamayo Renz B. Vihar Kisha May A. Aguha Barbie Nicole A. Argueles Princess Vien A. Arrogante Lara Jessica M. Augusto with honors Jennifer Q. Balandron with honors Angela Marie L. Bandojo Shane M. Belsa Joey G. Caceres Rona G. De La Peña Kimberly Y. Escosura Ayesha Daniel S. Felipe Crystalline P. Ginto Jasmine M. Maceda Hannah Faith B. Manzano Rhea May O. Reyes Marjorie L. Rosaldo Erica May L. Torrio Rhea May S. Vargas with honors Mrs. Jocelyn R. Anyag, advisor, will now present the completers of grade 10 topas. Grade 10, Topaz Marce Angelo O. Anchata Jethro Jazz Ronan Baruga James Van A. Biliote Edgardo III E. Buon Galin Carl Wynn T. Cavanayan John Herson O. Clang Tok John David B. Claudio Rusty J. Comendador Gabriel Zaki O. Cordovan Mar Luigi Q. Dima Ilig Sean Latrell L. Garcia Adrian S. La Quarta John Mark R. Mendoza Erico Merck D. Obligado Leonardo S. Singeo Miguel Yongiro N. Vargas Julia Marie S. Agustin Kathleen May Antonio Novelin El Balajay with honors Ruelin C. Baruga with honors Jana Maria A. Katabay Sayrin Lay M. Tepanes with honors Leila Angela Dolfo with honors Margaret C. Doria Ronella D. Garcia 
with honors. Samantha Nicole C. Hernale. Maria Cristina S. Gonzalez. Princess Elora G. Lissing with honors. Francesca Daniel V. Ocampo with honors. Chrisandrian A. Olet. Rika May D. Paltinka with honors. Rosmer R. Perez with honors. Pauline A. Polistico. Eunice Faith J. Salas with honors. Janelle G. Salon. Patricia Jane O. Santos with honors. Rance Risa B. Psycho. Irish Tony Mari R. Soliestre with honors. Mary Joy T. Ogadan. Kyla May A. Valeros. Mrs. Marisa S. Peñaflor, advisor, will now present the completers of Grade 10 Diamond. Grade 10 Diamond. Boys, LSAO Asho. Rain Justin R. Aliado, with honors. J. Van E. Aliasmi. Argelus O. Valen. Vincent Andre C. Biclar John Albert B. Carale Iran R. Cortez with honors Mark Stephen D. Crosada with high honors Julian Miguel D. J. De Jesus with honors Mark Angelo Z. Ending Jervis H. Eusebio John Patrick J. Francisco with high honors George John Tonisa F. Gonzalez Gabriel P. Guerin with honors Jose Marie Lambarte Gerald M. Mendoza Eliorich Andre C. Padua Andre Nicole C. Peralta Alfred Nicolo E. Quimpo River Phoenix Q. Sandahan Girls, Maxine M. Aja with honors Ira P. Alvarez with high honors Princess Jenny B. Austria with honors. Tracy Mayti Banaag. Jermaine V. Broma with honors. Realiza B. Bugais with honors. Hasmin L. Steves with honors. Francine Kyla I. Ganzon with honors. Christine R. Ismael Ira Isabel Lacuesta with high honors Jenny B. Merida with honors Claire Vinice R. Mindo with honors Christelle Padernos with honors Angel Wayne B. Sabado with honors Maria Sofia M. Santander with honors. Sarah Aliana Soklum with honors. Kesha Marie T. Tendido with high honors. Rika Margel C. Tiburcio with honors. Mary Grace Joy B. Umali with high honors. Clarissa Bernadette L. Valenzuela with honors. Shane Kia P. Victoria with honors. Maria Sophia P. Villarias with honors. 
Ella M. Yado with honors. Congratulations everyone and we are so proud of you. Let us all listen to the message of our DepEd Secretary, Dr. Leonora M. Briones. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices whose uh, reminders and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all. And so, thank you, teachers. Your role has also expanded. In addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time 
are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies thank you uh, local government uh, units but of course most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate each and every one of you is truly special you are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school you went to school practically without seeing your teachers if at all you went to school with your parents your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments you are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different you are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time uh, even as you have to do family chores even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next but you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the department of education from your parents and family members your teachers from the officials in local government as well as in the parent teachers associations you deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back each hug virtually of course and each greeting which i am sure you are also receiving virtually i don't know if uh, you will remember this event many many years from now i have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when i finished high school and when i finished uh, my college studies all i remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message what was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations the happiness and the joy of our parents the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day when i was a college student we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college we would spend one whole day going around the campus visiting the classrooms saying goodbye to our teachers and sharing our memories we would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other we had baccalaureate 
services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and 
we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do, God be with you, and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Let us now listen to Keisha Marie T. Tendido of Brayton Diamond for her words of gratitude. To our school principal, Mrs. Elena C. Reyes, CPGHS PTA officers, department heads, teachers, parents, guests, and my fellow grade 10 completers. A pleasant day to all of you. No words are amazing enough to express my gratitude today. However, I still want to look back to all the struggles that we faced this year. The COVID-19 pandemic that brought a huge impact to our country's economy. The typhoon that hit the Philippines, and the unemployment of many Filipinos. But the most faced struggle for us was when the schools and universities closed their doors because of the pandemic. I know that most of us have been trapped because of the continuous problems that we need to solve, especially to my fellow classmates. Many of us lost the motivation to continue our education. Though, we didn't let this pandemic to be a hindrance to all of us. And as a result of this, we found ways on how we can still continue our education. In fact, we have discovered skills that we didn't expect we can do. And some of us, made an online business to provide their needs for their studies. Just like all of you, I know and I have also experienced unique sets of challenges this year. A weak internet connection, disturbing background noises inside the house while having our synchronous classes, the power interruption that caused our absence in class. Learning the different online platforms that are new to us. When we are studying and at the same time we are also teaching our siblings. And the fear of failure. And sometimes we feel like we are about to give up. And we thought of I cannot do this anymore. But we are saved by our heroes, and they are the amazing teachers from Carlos P. Garcia High School. We know that you have also experienced different sets of challenges on teaching us virtually. Because you are not just teachers, you are also parents navigating through your own children's struggle as well as the students you teach. Nevertheless, you still became our heroes. You taught us lessons during the day and you made sure that you form personal connections with us so that we will feel supported. You went above and beyond. Whether spending countless hours on learning innovative teaching techniques, ensuring that your students have access to the curriculum, and even checking our classworks at night. We are beyond grateful for all the things that you have done for us. And here, 
we found our friends who are a huge part of who we are today. And we learned a lot of lessons, a lot of things that we will always bear in our minds for a greater future. I want to leave you with this quote. This storm cannot stop me. My past is behind me and success is before me. Sometimes, in the current moment, you're in a storm and you cannot figure out how you're gonna make it out of the storm that you're currently in. Well, I'm here to encourage you that you shouldn't let your current situations, your current storms, your current problems define your destination. Keep going and keep driving. You might make it there a little bit slower, but you have to keep going. So whenever you're going through a storm, whether you're going through one right now, or you will be going through one next week, or next year, or whenever it may be, I want you to say this during your storm. This storm cannot stop me. My past is behind me and success is before me. And I'm proud to say I make it through the storm and I am here right now to encourage you through your storm. To my fellow grades and completers, congratulations and best wishes for your next journeys. Here is Hannah Faith B. Manzano of Grade 10 Ruby for the Community Song.
The completers are invited to make their pledge of loyalty to be led by John Patrick J. Francisco of Grade 10 Diamond. Respectively, fellows, kindly raise your right hand and repeat after me. Pledge of loyalty. I, John Patrick Hardin Francisco, do hereby promise to love and cherish my alma mater, the Carlos P. Garcia High School. I will faithfully direct my efforts towards the realization of its aim, goals, and policies. Strive to lead an upright and productive life and use fully and intelligently the knowledge and skills I have acquired for the service of God, country, and fellow men.
for the success of the Junior High School Virtual Moving Up. The Executive Committee possible with the guidance of our awesome God, our El Roy, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh, and all. We must all unite in interceding for our dear nation and other nations as well. By God's grace, this pandemic will come to pass in His great timing. Again, congratulations to our dear completers and God bless us all. This has been your MC for the day, Inet F. Hernandez.